Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a realistic zoom, something you might see in a mockumentary like The Office or Parks and Recreation. I was using this a lot on a web series I recently edited, and here it is. So what you're going to do is create a new adjustment layer. I've already created one. You're going to drag it on top where you want the zoom to happen. So I want it to happen about here. We're going to drag that on right like that. Go to Effects Transform. Perfect. Drag that on top. Effect Controls. So right where you want the zoom to start, you're going to keyframe the anchor point, the position, the scale, and the rotation. Then you're going to go down to Use Composition Shutter Angle. You're going to uncheck that. And you can play around with this setting, but I'm going to set it to 360 because I like when it blurs the most. Now you're going to go move forward probably about four frames, four or five frames. This, you know, you can play around with this however you like. You're going to set the scale to whatever you want, but I'll do um, probably 130 for this. You don't want to do too much. If you, if you overdo it, it's going to look fake. Um, and this really depends on what kind of footage you have. I mean, if you have high quality footage, you'll be able to zoom in more than if you had you know, lower quality footage. So we're going to move the position around a little bit, center her face a little more. You don't want to overdo the position movement either, or it's going to start looking fake. And then you're going to keyframe zero for the rotation and um, your normal anchor point. Now what I want you to do is go back a couple frames to probably the middle where the zoom is actually happening. And I want you to mess around with the rotation and the anchor point. So what I'm going to do is add um, probably one to the rotation and maybe move the anchor point up just slightly, just a little bit. You don't want to do too much. If you do too much, it's going to look fake. And this is going to add a little bit of camera operator shake. Because if you imagine if you're holding the camera and you, you know, zoom in, whether it's with the lens or with buttons on the side, you're going to... And we lost the light. OK, let's start over. Hey, guys. No, I'm just kidding. OK. So you want to add those subtle little variances just to you know, make it look more realistic. One thing I forgot, uh, extend your adjustment layer over the duration of your clip. Otherwise, I'll show you what happens. You get to the end, and then it goes back to its original scale. So you'll want to in, you know, elongate that for the rest of the clip. OK, one last thing you can do to really smooth everything out is go to your first keyframes here right click, interpolation, and do ease out. Then go to your end keyframes, right click, ease in. And it just gives it a little smoother feel. There you go, pretty realistic zoom. Um, you can play around with this however you'd like. Thank you for watching, I hope this helped. If it did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. It really helps me out, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one.